as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming, with Sister Tanya Nugis. Maranatha, page 153, Low State of Morals, May 25th. Fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as become a saints, Ephesians 5 verse 3. There is an alarming commonness in conversation at the present day, which shows a low state of thoughts and morals. True dignity of character is very rare. True modesty and reserve are seldom seen. There are but few who are pure and undefiled. Polluted thoughts harbored become habit, and the soul is scarred and defiled. Once do a wrong action, and a blot is made which nothing can heal but the blood of Christ. And if the habit is not turned from with firm determination, the soul is corrupted and the streams flowing from this defiling fountain corrupt others. There are men and women who invite temptation. They place themselves in positions where they will be tempted, where they cannot but be tempted when they place themselves in society that is objectionable. The best way to keep safe from sin is to move with due consideration at all times and under all circumstances never to move or act from impulse. Move with the fear of God ever before you, and you will be sure to act right. The moral dangers to which all both old and young are exposed are daily increasing. Moral derangement, which we call depravity, finds ample room to work, and an influence is exerted by men, women, and youth professing to be Christians that is low, sensual, devilish. Those who have learned the truth and do not have works corresponding with their profession of faith are subject to Satan's temptations. They encounter danger at every step they advance. They are brought into contact with evil. They see sights, they hear sounds, that will awaken their unsubdued passions. They are subjected to influences that lead them to choose the evil rather than the good, because they are not sound at heart. There is no training we need so much now as the preparing of young men and women to have moral restitute and to cleanse their souls of every spot and stain of moral defilement. This has been your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nuges. Maranatha, Jesus is coming again. Get ready, get ready, get ready.